Today I'm going to show you how you can easily remove chromatic aberration from your photos in Adobe Photoshop CC. First of all, make sure that you have a raw file selected and open it up in Adobe Photoshop. This menu, the camera raw menu, is going to open and if we pay close attention to the left hand side of our photo, we can see that there's quite a bit of chromatic aberration going on. But this can easily be fixed if we click on this lens icon and enable remove chromatic aberration. What this does is basically help us get rid of a lot of the chromatic aberration, but not of all, since you see there's still a bit of purple left. Now we can enable the profile corrections, which is going to be helpful as well. Leave this on default and now select the lens you have on the camera. Now we can go over to manual and select the purple hue. So it goes a bit into the reddish as we can see here. Now we're going to bring up the purple amount and you see it is going to be gone. Since we don't see any green fringing over here, we can basically leave the green amount and the green hue just as it is. But we could do the exact same thing if we had any green fringing left. Afterwards, we can go over to the general settings and basically uh, play around with all of our settings. And afterwards, we're, we can open the image in Adobe Photoshop so that we can basically work with it further. We're going to use the embedded profile. And now you can see we don't have any chromatic aberration in the picture anymore. This is it for today's Photoshop quick tip. I'm going to be back with some more tips in Adobe Photoshop, Premiere, Audition and Illustrator in the next few days. So basically make sure that you subscribe to my channel to get updates and get notified whenever I publish a new tutorial. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment, a like or let me know what you think of the video in the comments down below. I'd be very glad to read your feedback. Yeah.